I told you this thing was going to grow. Look at it. It's it's getting a little more pronounced. I am putting a Benadryl cream on it. So I'm hoping, although it doesn't seem to be making one bit of difference. Well, I thought I would do some more questions because uh, it was really fun to see all the responses last week, all the comments uh, from the questions. So I thought we would do some more. And I, I just have five today. Five. First one is, what fear would you like to conquer? I am not a fan of heights. Um, not that I want to, you know, be crawling around on the edge of a building or anything, but I, I would love to be able to, uh, you know, not get really, really freaked out being up high. I don't, I don't like that at all. Not even a little bit. What's more important, intelligence or common sense? Uh, that's kind of a tough one. I guess I would probably, as much as I, you know, would want to have intelligence, I think common sense is more important. Well, I don't know. I. It fluctuates, but I, I think it's, it really boils down to common sense because you can be book smart and dumb as a post, in my opinion. I had a roommate years ago who, you know, was an honor roll, you know, very book smart, but she was really dumb as a box of rocks. Seriously, seriously stupid in terms of just functioning in life. And I, I, I just, I, it boggled my mind how she could actually make it through and how she made it to as old as she did in life. I think uh, her parents probably uh, took care of a lot of that. And it was obvious that she hadn't done a lot of things on her own because of her inability to do them. Is it more difficult for you to speak kindly or honestly? And I think, it would be honestly because uh, it's easy to be kind, I think, for me. I don't know. Maybe it's not for others. But uh, sometimes, you know, I try to be honest. I, I really do. And and it's, yeah, it's sometimes it, it's not well received. I had a friend who asked me if I liked her dress, and I said no. And she was really offended by that. But at really, and I think I've mentioned this before, if you're going to ask me something and I don't like it or whatever, I, I I know it's upsetting to people, but at the same time, when I say that I do like something, I'm not just blowing smoke up your ass. And I think, um, you know, you can speak kindly and still be truthful and honest, um, but you really, I think, it's sometimes it's difficult to be honest because I, I kind of hem hawed around the whole do I like the dress issue. But I, I made a point of, of uh, you know, wanting to be honest. And, you know, she was okay with it after some time. She wasn't really happy with it at the moment. But, but If you had to spend one year living alone in a remote cabin, what would you spend your time doing? Uh, I think I would read let's just assume that there's no interwebs which would be very difficult but um or maybe the interwebs but no tv although you can pretty much get anything you want on the internet uh i would think that i would really like to read and maybe do a lot of art and um, you know, live off the land yes if possible would you live year round in your favorite season um, that's, see, that's another tough one, I think, because I, I really, I, you know, I live in Texas and it gets really hot in the summer, but sometimes I, I like a really good hot day, you know, I don't, I know, a little weird. Uh, I don't, I don't mind the summer, but my favorite season is the fall. And I know some people might say their favorite season is the spring, but if you live in a really hot climate, I think for me, uh, the fall 
is best because I know it's going to then be cool for a while. The thing that bothers me about spring is that I know it's going to then get hot. And I, I guess if you live in a really cold climate, um, you know, the thought of fall leads right into winter. So you may not want that. So I'm going to say fall because I love fall. I love the holidays in the fall. I love the cool crisp air, the leaves. Although it's not really as cool as it could be here in the fall, but it is nice. So those are the five. Let me see if I can pull out a bonus question here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask this one because it actually happened today. Um, if a clerk missed charging you for an item, would you bring it to their attention? And um, that actually happened today. I went in to get lunch and I decided to add a drink. And I, I gave her the $2 for the drink because I had already paid for lunch. And um, it was $1.95. I gave her $2. She gives me $2.05. And I said, I, I gave you the $2 um, for the drink. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, she just wasn't thinking. I know it was only $2, but, you know, I, I don't know. I, I have a tendency to, to, to be overly honest when it comes to that. Um, I've actually driven back to the store if I've gotten stuff that wasn't mine in the bag, even though I could have used it. Uh, I will drive back to the store and return it. Yeah. Kind of a nerd that way. All right. Well, I, uh, I'm also getting my hair cut. So my next video will have new hair. I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. It desperately needs some sort of guidance. I may cut it all off. I just don't know. We will see. But I've always had sort of a direction if it's, if I'm growing it out or what kind of I want with my hair. I really don't, and I don't, I don't want to color my hair. I like the gray. I'm, even though just about everyone I know wants me to color it, I'm just not. I like, I like the gray. I don't, it's really only, the, there's a lot in the back, but it's not as much. Um, I like it. I like the color. I'm very happy with that. So I'm okay with it, really. It's all good. Although my mom says it makes her look old. But she is old. When did we get old?